Hello, current clients, past clients, and future clients. I'm Rebecca Lindquist, the speech and accent coach in the Bay Area, and I'd like to share a few insights with French speakers on how to improve your English so you can speak with clarity and confidence and acquire executive presence. Many of my clients who are French tell me that they've been discouraged from learning the American accent. They're told the French accent is beautiful. And of course, although that may be true, the challenge is that they may not be understood by others readily, maybe in webinars, over the phone, or just not showing up while speaking English the way they would like. So if you're a French speaker and that's your concern, a few suggestions I would make. One of them is pay attention to the vocal tract change. There's a very open vocal tract when you're speaking French. And in American English, we close the vocal tract a bit in the back. A good sentence to practice with is, Annie eats oranges. It's a nice way to practice closing off the vocal tract in the back. So you can say words like happy without saying happy, and words like have without saying have. So that with an ah and being able to stop the air on the vowel is really, really helpful. So the word ends up being happy, have. We're happy to have you here today. That's one thing to practice. Another thing is simply to start being aware of the melody. French is quite different in that it sounds like people are going up when they speak French. Going up in American English, we often call it up talk, gives a bit of a youthful sound and a happy sound, but it can sound like you're not very credible or in control of what you say. We typically go down in pitch at the end of a statement. So being aware of that is useful. However, changing it can be more challenging. So the biggest advice I have for French speakers is to elongate your sounds. That is, to make the content words longer than the function words. In French, your syllables have about the same length. But in English, some of the syllables are a little bit longer. So it's beginning to realize that when you stress a syllable, it's not about changing pitch on that syllable. It's more about elongating it. We change pitch too, but not in the short voice time that most French speakers do. Those are a few suggestions for you. However, if you'd like to work more in depth, especially on your R sound and your TH sound, I think we should do that in person. Give me a call. I'd be more than happy to help you.